we saw in the 70s was the discovery uh, of human insulin, which replaced uh, cow insulin or beef insulin or uh, pork or pig insulin as the source of insulin for individuals with diabetes. And in fact, the uh, development of human insulin gave rise to the birth of the whole uh, recombinant uh, DNA era and really the birth of uh, biotechnology. If I could meet the team of scientists who first produced synthetic insulin, all I could say was thank you because it's keeping me alive. When a, when a parent first finds out that their child's diagnosed with diabetes, it's a devastating thing. You, you think, oh my gosh, my child's life's never going to be the same, and that's pretty true. Today, around the world, there are about 350 million individuals who have diabetes. By the year 2030, that number will be approximately 550 million. Diabetes is a very serious disease. Um, a lot of the times I think people forget that. It can affect almost every single organ in your body. It can cause so many different diseases in relation to the diabetes. And it can be really scary because if you mess up just a little bit, it can mean so much with the rest of your life. And it's, it's a frightening thing to think about. So right now today, we can't prevent the disease, uh, but we're conducting research and research you know, with uh, the academic world as well as with the biotech world uh, to develop novel approaches to prevention. One is focusing on replacing the uh, beta cells that have been destroyed with a new source uh, of beta cells. The other uh, alternative approach to replacement is the concept of regenerating endogenous beta cells in someone who has type 1 diabetes. Another exciting approach uh, to regeneration uh, that uh, some biotech companies are pursuing is the concept of converting another cell in the body to become a beta cell. I think the people need to know that diabetes is a serious disease and we need to continue funding for research in order to overcome and possibly one day cure diabetes. I believe we will have a cure for diabetes. I believe we will at some point in time. The researchers are going to find something that will allow people with diabetes to live a normal life and not have to do finger sticks every five seconds and, and have to count carbohydrates and all of that kind of stuff. It's nice to think about. It's nice to think that maybe one day I won't have to check my blood sugar all the time and I won't have to give myself insulin all the time. There'd be a heavy weight lifted off of my shoulders. I'd, I'd get to be normal and that would be awesome.